Hi, this is a quick demo of how you could pre-mark or pre-select tasks for a patient to work on. Um, in the future, we're going to have a much better feature for this where it will actually let you just check off a bunch of tasks and probably even set the difficulty. But until we have that new feature, we'll do it like this. Please let us know if you like that feature. Um, and you can kind of simulate it by doing this. And if you find that helpful, let us know, and uh, we may give that a higher priority. So if you wanted to select tasks for a patient to work on, you'd sign into their account, as I've done here, sign into Clay's account, go into Options, and I'm going to put it in short lesson mode just to make this easier. And the way it works is if you go into a skill area and into a task, if I have finished one lesson, it'll mark that task as started. Um, it may even do that if I just finish uh, a lesson and don't even pass it, and we'll test that here. So I'm going to go into number five, and I'm going to go to the basic level, and I'm going to start it, and I'm actually going to get these wrong. Okay. So that's technically an incorrect answer because I did not get it correct on the first attempt. Uh, and then we get this wrong. And we get it right. And then we're done because this is only two exercises per lesson. Okay. And I'm going to go exit out and see if it shows me. Yes, it shows me that I've started that. So you could go in to any skill or area that you want them to work on later. And if you, for example, said they should do four, they should do five, they should skip six and seven, they should go to eight, go into eight. And of course, you can actually be trying them out with these just so they know what they're like. So there's no, there isn't a big downside to actually having to go through a couple of exercises. So let's start and you could show them, hey, this is how this works. And maybe they get it wrong. And if so, that, um, you just click something and you go, don't worry about it. That's just me playing around. And maybe I'll get the next one right. Um, and I'm still at 50%, so um, not enough to actually pass. So exit out. Now, when they come back into the program, I'll go back to skills here. When they come back to the program and they want to know what to work on, um, um, they could go into a task area a skill area, excuse me, and see nothing started. So that's not a good one for them to work on. And again, in the future, we'll have some way to actually indicate the skills that have something in them that they should be working on. But if they went into reading, they'd see, oh, I've started on these. So that's what I should work on. And hopefully it's relatively obvious to them that this one's easier than this one, which is easier than this one. And they can just go in here and it'll start them right where you left off. Um, so that I was on medium there before, but if you went into here, this would be on basic because um, that's what I was at before. And since I failed that lesson or didn't pass it, it would actually start me back out in that same one. Oh, and before you do, and when you finish all that, one last thing is to click on options and go back to normal length lessons. Um, short lessons is just for kind of playing around with it. Hope you enjoyed this. If you find that feature of being able to pre-select tasks and skills for them to work on, please let us know. Um, uh, right now we are planning to have that, but it may not be for six or seven months. And we can do it sooner if we uh, see that there's a lot of interest in that. Thanks.